and welcome to this Star Valor video. This is going to be quick tips on getting started in this game. So once you get started in this game right here, you get your chosen background that you have to pick to get your chosen ship that you got to play through until everything is unlocked throughout this game. And of course, you can have a lot of replay value on this because there's you know six different factions, and you can try and ally yourself with different ones right off the start and get different ships that you want to start with. But one of the things here, key features right here you might want to know is that uh, the experiences are here. You get to pick one of these, and the next update, all three of them are going to be unlocked right away. You don't have to level up and play through again. But out of all of these little skills right here, you get to understand them all. If you want to know the best, I think the best is energy generation. It's a really key feature on your ships, getting more power for your shields and your engines, because they take a lot of it. And this is really nice to use. And out of all the other ones, things that they, these things really don't mean very much. You get plus two to your things right there. It's just, you know, adds a plus two, which doesn't really do very much as, at the moment. And lots of, so also these effects have like, you know, are on the minor type of scale type of deal. You know, the weapon damage and the shielding for 4%, is okay but this game is about speed and exploring and running around for combat so acceleration is way better especially if your bigger ships are incredibly slow that is why acceleration would be your second most pick or if you really care about it that much you know take it as a first if you only get one and then max speed velocity would be your third choice because uh you know faster you are the better is for your combat type thing so uh and also in this game here the next level gated thing here is this ship right here uh you have to be in between level 15 and 25 and go into the dead space that's just outside the border of your regular map easy enough to do but you have to do it in between those levels and then you have to chase this ship down and destroy it and unlock it and find it as it runs away to your base and you get it and it's a nice nice awesome ship you can get especially since it's a class 5 and it's got some special effects on it and special weapons and stuff like that uh, it would and then uh, that's a it and the other that's what it for being level gated and uh when you pick one of the the, the um the uh, two major factions you know the humans or the alien type zeus whichever we want to pick uh each of them have their own craftable epic uh, class 6 dreadnought ship that you can make later on you get you'll get the blueprints and then you can craft that it's really it takes a lot of work to do that it'll be the end of the game type thing but the other epic ships in this game that you can get right now is the unlock the uh lace wing right here uh this one here is in the, uh, one of the perks you get uh you do that perk you get the ship but the ship you don't get it in your game it doesn't come to you you don't get the blueprint to craft it it's just it's just you start a new game you can start with this one there and that's the only way to actually you know get that ship and fly around with it is to actually start the game with it uh, the other small ship right here is going to be the class one uh, there it is a class one epic ship you can find this ship throughout this game um i don't know if you can find more than one i've been trying but i just found the one so far uh but it is in the uh, trash piles and one of the uh, debris fields you just scan through there and then they'll randomly get this reward will pop up and you'll get this nice little level one uh powerful little ship um but you know it's still just a class one it's not going to be uh, you know game changing at all it's just something neat that you might want to know that if you do search those uh, debris frees out you're going to get something neat now the other perks you might want to know that are uh, mutually exclusive are the five perks that you get based on which skill you level up the most uh, throughout this game and those skills are your knowledge based skills and you just do them like you know you, you find blueprints for scavenging like I said and you get a 30% bonus of finding blueprints so that's not going to help you find a ship it's just going to help you find your own blueprints but it might c correlate with that um, but uh, yeah that is the one right there and then there's you know fighting guys is the other one right there so you just fight guys solo you can get 30% more money off the guys when you kill them and uh, bribe them or extort them or whatever and then there's the fleet one for the opposite one right there so you can get level 25 in that first you'll get weapon damage and resistance for your fleet that doesn't count for you just your fleet ships get that and then there's the hard worker for mining you get mining up to 25 first and you'll get your collection beam range and your speed based up and that is really handy to have because you're collecting a lot of loot in this game and the extra range is really kind of a must and of course the speed too this will help you uh, this will help you just in general gameplay throughout the whole thing and this explorer one and as the fifth one right here is just making your loot, your loot detection a little bit higher and it's already gets really really high at the at the end so it doesn't really matter for actual effects in this game um what else do you need to know i think it covered all the ships i covered all the uh stuff right there so uh let's load her up and uh, take a look because when this game happens and you i told you about the three little choices you get you can pick between the civilians you can pick the merchant guys that's the syndicate and the uh, miners guys and they all give you their ship so that's your choice to you know the you get no uh, perk or, or something for for going to the civilian ships. Civilian ships are generally weaker than everyone else's. Now let's go to the dock here and you know they can take a quick look at this. And uh, here are the ships right here. You, when you get your ship upgraded, the uh, the civilian guys, 
using the independent, they all have all their ships have like a plus one enhancement slot, and then you're not going to be able to access that at the start of the game because you're not going to have the ingredients until later. And the ship is pretty weak, but it does have three guns on it, which making make it kind of interesting. But its size and all that kind of stuff is relative to the other ones. And the boulder, of course, is you know it's the next level up. It's green, right? So it's uh, better than the white. But there's the uh, mining guys. They have extra laser damage for mining laser damage, and they have a built-in collection uh, collector beam, save you some space. They got uh, you know the cannon damage and mining speed. Uh, don't worry about the replicator. It uses your junk on there, and you don't want your junk being wasted by ammo. So uh, don't try and uh, don't run over ammo and waste your junk type of a deal. But the extra mining speed built in is really awesome. You get mining damage, mining speed, and of course this ship has like twice as much cargo space, and that is a big factor in this game. And then there's of course the defender. That's what the syndicate gets. They got extra warping distance and uh, shield absorption. So they have a really good uh, effect for their syndicate things right there. Uh, but uh, I would recommend also just going into the boulder anyways, because the special perk you get for joining these guys here is just market insight, and you can get pilots and stuff like that, and uh, that will have that for you, so you don't need it yourself. And then of course on the you get the with the miners, you get another plus 30% to your mining speed for your perk. So yeah, I would I would love to stack up you know 60% mining rate to start of the game and get 20% more damage on my mining lasers and with all that built-in stuff and that just is really awesome to get your um, your money uh, going in the, the most uh, the simplest way. But later on, you're going to be building big, huge, uh, playing around with the big, huge ships and now uh, using your ships for their certain special effects and what they do. Just be aware of that. Most of the uh, lots of the teammates in this game are using class two or class three ships to go around and kill a whole bunch of guys and smaller guys as they hint on how to actually get those things. If you don't want to look them all up, I won't give you the exact details of what you got to do with them. Uh, but if you need more information about this game, I got this whole other video that's like two hours long where I tried to cram in 200 hours of like you know a gameplay or more of what I have with all the reloading and stuff like that into like a two hour video but this one here I try to make shorter and give you the quick tips on just getting started and all the info that you need so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time